Every month at the new moon, we begin a new emotional cycle, and we have the opportunity to reset our goals and intentions. The new moon in Libra is September 25th at 5.54 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This new moon is quite beautiful. First, because it's in Libra, and that is a sign ruled by Venus, and it's all about beauty, it's all about harmony. It's all about creativity, too. And what is special about this new moon is we have the opposition from Jupiter to the Sun and the Moon, and we have Mercury and Venus conjunct in Virgo opposite Neptune. So what does all that jargon mean? Well, let me tell you, this new moon is filled with the frequency of idealism. And idealism is something I really specialize in astrologically because so many people who seek astrological consultations are idealists. They have a mindset that is able to see into the potential of other people, the potential of the world. Idealistic mindset goes past what is currently being lived and goes into what could be if it was ideal. And this is a beautiful thing. It offers so much hope, but sometimes it sets up disappointment cycles because when an idealistic person goes into what could be, sometimes they miss signals right here, right now, that inform them and can help them make better decisions. So this new moon is about balancing the hope for the ideal, balancing what could be with what is, without getting distressed by the difference between those two visions. Whatever you begin at this new moon, in your thinking, in your beliefs, in your observations in the world, you're gonna notice an expansion and a development for the two weeks it takes for the moon to become full in October. It's very important that you manage your own idealistic mindset, that you give energy to what you want, but that you realistically see things the way they are and you accept people for where they are right now. The disappointment that happens in idealism is when we think other people need to live up to our level of their potential, to what we are envisioning for their potential. And what happens is we forget they get to choose when they grow or if they grow. And that's what creates so much disappointment for an idealistic person is they feel so invested in energizing this ideal view of another person. And then they are incredibly disappointed when the other person chooses not to live up to it. And the same with the world. We are in the middle of a firestorm of activity that really isn't all that nice or positive, especially politically speaking. And that can really mess with our minds with idealism. Let this new moon allow you to retain that sense of hope about what could be while you breathe and patiently wait. And let this new moon be a time when you believe in yourself without self-criticism because the Mercury-Venus conjunction in Virgo can easily slide into self-critical view of, I'm not living up to my potential. I've disappointed myself. This is a tricky new moon, but it builds and it grows and it blossoms into something beautiful in the middle part of October when we have the full moon. Watch my forecast video and I'll be telling you about that for October. So I am blessing you and I am absolutely energizing the ideal potential in the world while I settle into the practical reality of making decisions based on what really is in this moment. And I am focused on vibrating to the frequency of acceptance. All right, bye for now. I'll see you next month at the next new moon. I'm Kathy Rose.